Thiamine or vitamin B1 is an essential nutrient. Your body can't make thiamine, so you have to eat it in your diet. Thiamine can be found in pork, in sesame seeds, in liver, yeast, in fish. What are the causes of thiamine deficiency? A diet high in processed packaged food, which has been stripped of all vitamins and nutrients. That will increase your chances of getting a thiamine deficiency. Eating a lot of sugar, drinking a lot of alcohol, some medication like antibiotics, bariatric surgery, all these will increase your risk of getting a thiamine deficiency. Only about 5% of the thiamine that you take in in your diet is actually absorbed. So if you're not eating enough thiamine, your chances of becoming deficient are very high. So what does thiamine do? Your cells need thiamine to process glucose efficiently, to use it to produce energy. This is especially important when you have high blood sugar because at a point, your mitochondria become overwhelmed with the sugar that they're trying to process and they just can't process it fast enough and the sugar piles up inside the cell. Now your cells have to do something with all this sugar that's just lying around. They can't just leave it there. So they have to find alternative pathways to use and break down this sugar. And these are not pathways that your cells like to use, but they are forced to use them. Continuous use of these alternative and less favorable pathways eventually leads to some of the complications that you might find in diabetes, like the burning and the tingling of the hands and the feet. The presence of thiamine prevents shunting of this glucose that has piled up in the cell into these alternative pathways. Why is thiamine deficiency important in diabetes? Now, diabetics, just like anybody else, can develop thiamine deficiency from not getting enough in the diet. Diabetics are in a peculiar situation because they have problems with their kidneys. Now, the problem is that the kidneys are supposed to filter out thiamine from the blood and then reabsorb it back into the blood. In diabetes, the kidneys don't function properly. Your kidneys are removing a lot of thiamine from the blood and then they're not reabsorbing that thiamine back into the blood. So you find that so much thiamine is lost in the urine that the chances of developing deficiency become very, very high. So what are the signs and symptoms of thiamine deficiency? In the early stages, these signs and symptoms are very, very nonspecific. That means they could just as well belong to any other disease. These include tiredness, excessive sleepiness, hair loss, heart problems, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, tingling of the hands and feet. Eventually, this progresses to difficulty in walking, abnormal jerky movements of various parts of the body, loss of memory and other mental problems. At this stage, the damage cannot be reversed. In diabetes, this vitamin B1 deficiency may show itself as an increase in blood sugar and onset of mental problems like with memory and so on. So how do you prevent and treat thiamine deficiency? First, of course, try and eat more natural food that is naturally rich in thiamine. Cut down on the sugar in your diet, cut down on alcohol. If you're thiamine deficient, there's also the option of supplementation. Supplementation would probably be the fastest way to increase your thiamine levels. Thiamine is water soluble and only about 5% of the thiamine that you take in, in your diet is absorbed into the blood. And there's another form of thiamine called benfotiamine and this is fat soluble and is much better absorbed from the intestines. So that means that you will get higher levels of it in the blood. You may find that um, benfotiamine will give you better results than thiamine in terms of helping with nerve related complications like pain and burning and tingling. Taking benfotiamine can reduce some of the uh, complications of diabetes by up to 50%. And if you already have complications like problems with your eyes and kidneys, then taking benfotiamine can possibly help to slow down the progression of these complications over time. 
of course you would be combining this supplementation with changes in your lifestyle that will help to bring down your blood sugar and tackle the issue of the insulin resistance that's part of type 2 diabetes. Watch this video next to find out how you can do that.